Good morning, Miracorns. I'm going to be letting my TikTok followers control everything I eat for the whole day. I posted a TikTok yesterday asking you guys what I should eat, and there are so far 766 comments. That's a lot of different possibilities of how today could go. Paris said I should have crumpets with beans and cheese on. I absolutely love crumpets, but I've never had them with cheese and beans, I don't think. I don't feel like that really goes. Normally I have crumpets sweet. I guess I'm trying something new. Guess what Mary just commented though, that I should let Koa and Karma make me something. Karma's at school, which I think kind of actually makes it worse because that means I only have Koa to try and make me my crumpets. Obviously I'm gonna have to help you put them in the toaster and stuff, but do you even know what crumpets are, Koa? No. So the first step of my breakfast is you have to pour the beans into the saucepan, Koa. <laughs> Is this fun getting to make my breakfast? Yeah. Do you think you're gonna do a good job? Yeah. You're gonna make sure nothing gets burned? Yeah. Now what you have to do, Koa, is open up the crumpets. Can you open up the packet on your own? No, I need some help. And how many crumpets do you think I'm gonna need to eat? Uh, me? This one and this one. Two? Yeah. Okay, now you have to put them in the toaster. Yeah, well done. I'm gonna turn it on. You can put your hand on mine. We'll do it together, yay! High five! You got it? Yeah. yeah, you did it! Ready, should we pop it out? All you have to do is press that button. Ready, watch. <gasps> they came out! Right, I'm gonna get them out the toaster because they're quite hot now, Koa. I can put one on. Yeah, put the cheese on carefully. Good boy. One more, okay. put that on. Yeah. And no more cheese. Okay, now we've got the beans, so these are hot, okay? Yeah. So I'll put these ones on. Loads. Loads. Okay. No more. No more? Stop. Okay. Is this my breakfast done? Yeah. Aw, thank you, Koa. This looks so delicious. I am a bit nervous about this combo though. Like, I'm not sure how it's gonna be because like I said, I always have crumpets with sweet stuff, not savory. But I guess it kind of does work, but I feel like crumpets even smell kind of sweet, don't they? What do you think? He's currently eating one raw. He insisted that he wanted it raw. Wow, some cheese. Yeah, you can have some cheese. Do you want the first bite since you made it? Yeah. Ready? I'm gonna try some now, Koa. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't dislike it, but I don't like it. Like, something about it is just a bit off because I'm so used to having crumpets sweet. It just feels weird that I'm eating it with savory. Like, it seems a bit random. I've just been editing a Fizz Sisters video because I don't know if you guys have noticed, but me and Sienna and sometimes Karma have actually been making videos more regularly on there. I am now going to be going out. I've got my bag ready. I do need to go to the supermarket for something else tomorrow. But one of you guys have told me to go to Costa and try out the new boba tea. I actually saw this on a sign outside of Costa maybe like a few weeks ago and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to try this and I still haven't tried it. So we're doing it. So there is Costa. I've decided to go to a pretty big one because I'm really hoping that they have it. I don't even know if boba is like something that all of them have. The sign outside is saying about iced coffee. Hopefully it says about boba on the other side. If not, I'm just gonna have to ask. Yes! Hi. Um, what flavors does the bubble tea come in? Because I am literally so excited for this. Wait till you guys see it. Ready? Three, two, one, ta-da! This actual like boba. I don't know why I'm finding it so crazy. I think Costa is the first like regular coffee cafe chain to do boba. Like Starbucks doesn't do it, Pret doesn't do it, none of those places do it. But Costa is on the game, guys. I normally associate Costa with older people, not teenagery stuff. And I feel like boba is definitely like more of a Gen Z thing, so I'm surprised. The guy did tell me to mix it. This is the mango flavor. They also do boba frappes, so next time I'll have to try that, but I just wanted to try the classic one first. Ooh, I think I need to mix it a bit more. What was really funny though is I've always thought about how boba is like a serious choking hazard, and on the sign outside it actually says it's not suitable for children under three years. They're the popping ones, like they have like the hard sort of shell outside and you bite it and then it like explodes in your mouth. So delicious guys. And it tastes really good like mango. I am back home. And I have a lot of goodies in here which are actually for a physicist video. But while I was out, I was looking at the TikTok again and one of you guys said for me to have spicy ramen noodles for my lunch. I've got a pot noodle and this is 
chili chicken flavor. So yeah, it should be spicy. I mean, it's got chilies on the front. I'm super excited to have that for my lunch because I actually love noodles so much. I always have this on my side, like as a decoration, but I might actually use it because I never use it. I got my noodles. I am gonna try and transfer these to the bowl in my bedroom, which could go seriously wrong like all the times when I've opened fizzy drinks. That looks so yummy. The bowl is literally huge. That's why it looks like there's not much in it. I've also got some chili flakes just in case it's not spicy enough because you guys did tell me to have spicy noodles and I don't know how spicy these are gonna be. Mm. Oh my gosh, they're really spicy. I definitely don't need to add any more. Whew. What a good lunch, guys. Mm. It's literally such a sunny bright day out there that I wanna get outside again. And I'm also feeling a bit hungry. So I'm gonna try and find a comment which is telling me to like eat somewhere. Ooh, Ella has told me to eat at La Durie in Selfridges. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it's that macaroon place. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. Thank you, because it, they even have vegan macaroons and it's so fancy. I'm now in Selfridges and I'm going downstairs. Oh my gosh, I can already see it. Guys, it's the macaroon place. I've only been here a couple of times and it's literally the best thing ever. 10 out of 10 recommend if you come to Selfridges, get some macaroons. I really want to get a drink to go with my macaroons before I eat them because I'm feeling a bit thirsty. So one of you guys, Jody, told me to go to Starbucks and try the mango dragon fruit refresher. I have never tried that before. Hi, do you have the mango and dragon fruit refresher? Yeah, we do. Oh my gosh, Mia Corns, the color of this drink. Why did I not even know that this was a drink? Guys, comment down below, is this new or have I just been living under a rock because... So be honest, in terms of taste, I think I prefer the strawberry one. Although I guess I always have the strawberry one with coconut milk in it. So I don't know if this tastes better with like coconut milk or something. I don't know if you can get that added to it. 10 out of 10 otherwise. Now I know you guys are waiting for this. The macaroons, look how pretty the packaging is. And this is because I only got two, but if you get like eight or more, they, I think they have really big boxes which you can get for like gifts and stuff. The box they come in is so fancy. I'm so upset they've gotten crushed in my bag. They had two vegan flavors today. So this is... Oh my gosh, I think it was strawberry or was it raspberry? Uh oh, I can't remember. It tastes like strawberry to me. It's so good though, it's literally crumbling. This one managed not to get broken. This is chocolate. Mmm, the texture is just so unlike anything. I guess the most similar thing is maybe a meringue, but even then, not quite because it's got like jam or cream in the middle. Jess said that for my starter, so obviously before my dinner in a little bit, I should try and make myself a charcuterie board. Probably completely said that wrong. To be honest, I don't even really know what it is, but I'm pretty sure I saw in an Emma Chamberlain video like literally years ago, she made a charcuterie board and it was like cheese and stuff so she said make a charcuterie board with green grapes but these are green grapes right but for some reason the packaging says white grapes are these white or green grapes i would call them green grapes she called them green grapes however the supermarket is calling them white grapes and i feel like if anyone's gonna have it right it's gonna be the shop selling it you get me i'm gonna try and make it fancy and cut all the grapes in half imagine if it's like nothing to do with cheese i really love cheese apparently first up we're starting off with liquidy Good cheese cream cheese i think the sun's getting to my head right now mm, 10 out of 10 cheese i don't know if you guys know this but secretly i'm actually a cheese connoisseur we also have this greek white cheese here i don't think i've ever had so much cheese in my life to be honest than i have had today except for the fact that i am a cheese taster so like, you know when you walk past and you just hear like a little fragment of someone's conversation? Imagine if you just hear me like, I'm sitting here by myself in the park, recording myself and I'm just going, yeah, I'm a cheese taster. Mmm, that is really good. Wait, I forgot, I'm meant to be eating it with grapes. That is actually a mind-blowingly amazing combo. Thank you so much. Cheddar style with cracked black pepper. And then, I've just got plain cheddar here. I feel a bit like stupid that I've got all this cheese to myself. Should I just bite into it? When I bought these, I thought they were cargoes. Turns out, they're also shorts. Take that as your sign to go treat yourself to a solo charcuterie picnic in the park in the sun because that was a very nice experience. Except now, we're gonna see what I'm having for dinner. And Marina said, maybe for one of the meals, you could have a burger. But the twist is you have to put a viral TikTok 
sour pickle in it. I don't know how I feel about this because I do like pickles and burgers. This is not a normal pickle. It's a sour pickle. And I'm pretty sure this is the one you mean. I have seen these all over TikTok and these are just like super trendy at the moment. So I'm gonna go and order myself a plant-based Whopper from Burger King. I'm sus as what you're going to do with that pickle. <laughs> I was then gonna say, do you even know what I'm doing today? Letting your Instagram followers decide TikTok what you TikTok followers. Eat. Ooh, okay, TikTok so followers. you do know because mum didn't even know what I was doing. Any world guesses as to why I've got a Burger King burger and a pickle? You're gonna make like an extra pickle. Smell ah, that. You're it's gonna make so an extra sour. pickled burger? I'm gonna make a super sour pickled burger. Ew. I love pickled burgers, but not like a whole giant one. Got my nice plant-based Whopper here. By the way, the reason why I'm making this on my bed is because the babies are now back, which means noise. Lots and lots of noise. You guys <laughs> probably wouldn't even be able to hear me if not for the fact that I'm in my room with the door closed. Yeah. <gasps> oh my gosh. Don't worry, I already drained it, but imagine <laughs> if I hadn't drained it, that would have been Your bed would have stunk to everything. of pickles for like- Ew, oh, that's so <laughs> gross. Because this isn't even a normal pickle. It smells mm. so strong. It's a super sour oh. pickle. Where's my knife? Wait, you know what we have to do? No. It's so crunchy. Kind of like it because I do like pickles, but it's also really sour. Yeah. Like, I kind of get why these are a thing, <laughs> weirdly. No, why do I low-key like this? There's gonna be a lot of pickles in my burger though, considering it already has more pickles Oh my pickles gosh, in yeah. It. Crazy pickle girl. <laughs> yeah. Is this enough pickles? Yeah. Mmm. Dinner is served. Do you wanna try some? Um, okay. Mmm. Appreciate the pickles? Mmm. Thanks for my new favorite food, guys. So now I've had my dinner. That was actually surprisingly nice. I was kind of dreading it. I feel like I've had a very varied eating today and I've actually been kind of enjoying it. I might ask you guys to feed me more because you guys keep coming up with really interesting ideas that I would never ever get for myself but actually end up keep liking it. Claudia Dixon said I should ask ChatGBT or something similar to write a recipe for me to make. And Julia Carlson also said make edible cookie dough for a snack loaded with white milk and dark chocolate. Gonna try and go to chat GPT. I don't even know if that's a website or an app. Hi, do we say hi to a robot? I have no idea if you're meant to say hi to a robot or not. I need a quick and easy vegan recipe for cookie dough. What? Oh my gosh. How is it writing this? This is weird. I just need to go get these ingredients, follow this recipe. So I have the goods, but it's quite late, so the babies are asleep, so I have to be quiet. I got all the ingredients here. Look at these yummy chocolates. I'm mixing it all up. It was actually so simple. Also, take notice of my amazing pajamas, which I actually thrifted from the boys section. I don't know what happened to my voice then. Also, look at my amazing cooking skills. Adding some flour. Believe it or not, I actually did singing lessons for like two years. And the cookie dough is cookie doughing. This was so, so fun to make. I feel like I'm in actual shock right now. That was so quick and easy to make and it literally came out perfectly. But you're probably thinking, hang on a second, Mia. Wasn't I told to put loads of different types of chocolate in? Don't you think I forgot? So I've got white chocolate buttons. Pop those in. I've actually got two packets because as you know, white chocolate is my favorite. So I really appreciated that you put that in there. Normal milk chocolate buttons. And I've got some Milky Way Magic stars oh my gosh look at this mere corns we just need to mix this in and it is gonna be so good i can have it in my hand but it's a bit sticky if you put them in the fridge it would definitely help with that and i love the fact that you can even bake it mm. 